Hi, this is Kate from Delicious Designs and today I'm going to show you how to make baby bear. We've done mummy bear, daddy bear, goldilocks, now it's time to do baby bear. We're going to use a single loom and it's going to be in the offset configuration which means columns one and three are going to be lower than column two. The arrow is facing towards you and if you don't have an arrow that's the open part of the peg. All right, let's get started. We're going to be double banding I'm going to be using brown. I'm also going to use um, a little bit of caramel, I think. I'm not sure if I've got enough brown bands or not, but we'll see how we go. Um, I'm using blue for a sort of uh, diaper effect, maybe shorts or something like that. A couple of black bands, and you're going to need two of the mini pony beads as well. I'm using black ones for his eyes. So let's get started. with the brown bands for his little head. Push everything down. Let's get a crossover band, so a single band, and stretch it over these three pegs here. And then we're going to do another one. Actually, what we'll do here, we'll take a single band and twist it once, twice, three times. And then we will slide our two beads. Now, if you don't have beads, bands work just as well. Take a single band, wrap it around your hook three times. And then do the same with another band and you slide those onto the skin tone band as if they were beads like that. Place those across here and then what we're going to do is take this top part of the band and lift it up and over this peg. Let's do the ears. Take three bands, place your hook through and wrap once and then you're going to take oops, two bands and slide those on. Now take your hook out, we're going to splay these open like this so that you have the two bands that you slid those onto in your fingers like that. You can tell whether you've been successful or not because there's a hole through the middle. Okay, so poke this on one side of your hook like that, then reclaim the other side and place that there. Let's do the same on the other side. Three bands, just wrap it around once, two bands, slide on, and splay these out. Like I said, you can tell whether you've got it or not by whether or not you have that hole in the middle. And we don't. See how there's no hole? So I know that I've got the wrong end of the bands. Let's try this way. It's a 50-50. Trying to get the, the ones that are in the middle out of the way. Nope. Right. Sometimes they get overlapped on themselves. There we go. Splay them out. This one, that side. This one, that side. <gasps> There's the hole. Good o. Let's pop that through one peg and this through the other. I'm 
I'm not making, I'm not going to edit it out and make this look perfect and easy and everything like that. I'm just doing it how it is so that if you can see that I'm having a bit of difficulty with something, you know that you could possibly have some difficulty with it too. And, and that's okay. All right, down to the bottom here, we're going to take a single band, stretch it, figure eight, loop it on itself and we'll place it here and one underneath it and one underneath that so three bands looped on themselves do the same in the next column one now before we go to brown here we're going to actually do two black bands stretch out figure eight loop on themselves this is going to be this the nose so we're building the snout here another brown one here just a single and then three brown here so take a single figure eight loop it on itself like that now we need three end caps take a single band wrap it once and twice and pop it on the end another pop it on the end and one more pop it on the end we need to do a crossover band so take a single band now stretch it figure eight loop it on itself and place it across and we'll do the same over here and now we're ready to loop up dig down past that end cap and loop up I do hate when that happens there we go that will teach me for not holding the end cap in place okay Let's take this off the loom. Be very careful. Okay, so we're left with it looking like this. You're going to use two single bands, one for the top, one for the bottom. So take your first single band and place it on the end of your hook and slide these loops over like that and reclaim the end of your band now if you do not have another hook put these on a pencil or something just to hold them because what we need to do is turn this over and grab these three loops which are the end cap they're the end cap on each of those columns. Grab your single and oops, slide these on. Like so, reclaim the end of your band. Now, I like the nose to be with the V going upward so I'm going to place it this way I'm going to have one side here of the top and one side here and then on the bottom come on Kate one side there gosh I'm really being a fumble fingers today And one side there. This is to show you how not to do it. <laughs> there we go. So he's on there. I can see that we've got this rather loose 
end cap that's sort of not splayed out very nice so I've just stretched the other two a bit to make it more in shape okay his body if you remember these are the ones where we do the really skinny kind of body I'm just using two bands because it's going to be inside the ball Okay, so now we take, we're going to just use two, wrap once and twice, and slide on to three. We're sliding on to three because we want it to be nice and chunky. Slide on to another three. And slide on to one more set of three. Oops, that's two. There we are. Like that. And we pop that on this arm. Let's do the same for the other side. Two bands, wrap once and twice. Slide onto three bands. Slide onto three bands and slide onto three bands and that goes here we're going to do the same for his legs two bands at once and twice slide onto three bands And three bands and three bands. It goes here. Two bands wrap once and twice. Slide onto three bands three bands and three bands pop that here now the other thing we need to do are chubby cheeks for our little guy. So take a single band, wrap it once and twice and slide onto two bands two bands and two bands Actually, do I do three or two? Let's just check here. One, two, one, two, yes, three. It is three, it is okay. So this goes here by his eyes, and you're going to push your hook through the end cap and attach that to the chin area or the, the jowl, the jaw, once and twice. Slide on to two and two and another two and pop that here push your hook through the end cap and there we go all right, I think we're ready to start looping up our little dude. Dig down on the two brown bands and loop to the center. Same here. Loop to the center. You're going to be finding the two bottom bands. The arms. 
this. Hold the arm in place so it doesn't go walk out. Now, always the fun bit is the face. Dig down and find the two top bands and they go to the side as do the other ones. You might need to push the chubby cheek down. Now, we need to take the chubby cheek off, hold it out to one side, and you're going to dig down and find those two bands and loop up. If it's caught, put your hook around the outside of the peg and swirl it around a bit. Place the chubby cheek, dig down, find the two bands and loop up. Let's do the same for the other side. Take the chubby cheek off and hold it to one side. Dig down to find the two. I found one. Let's find the other one. Here he is. Two bands. Replace the chubby cheek. And loop up. Like that. This is secured in now. Now we're going to do some fancy footwork with the nose, the snout. Lift it up to expose this peg and loop that band up. Replace the snout and instead you're going to move it the other direction downwards. Grab those two bands and loop up. Now the snout can go back. Loop up the forehead and then dig down to find the bottom two bands either side here and loop them to the center. We're going to need two brown bands to tie this off. Push your hook down the center, peg out through the side and put the two brown bands on. We're going to be pulling those back and up through the back of that peg. Take the two closest, lift them up, off and over, and we pull tight into a slip knot. Let's take him off the loom. Be careful around the snout area because you still have that little snout that was behind the nose. Just pull the ears out a little bit and you can push the eyes out too. Gently ease him off. So there is Baby Bear. Now we're going to hide these loops under the back of his head. Kind of like that. Make sure his snout is nicely rounded. <laughs> and that his eyes are poking out. He can sit to one side until we're ready for him because what we're going to do now is move our loom into the standard configuration where all the columns are the same height. We're going to grab our rainbow loom hook because it has the base removal tool on the back of it. We're going to have the arrows facing towards us um, if you don't have arrows, it's the open part of the peg that is facing towards us. And we're going to be double banding again. And we're going to start, we're going to have two colours, we're going to use blue and brown. Blue are going to be for his shorts and brown for his fur. So, let's get started. Two bands. Now, the difference between this bear, baby bear, mummy bear and daddy bear. Baby bear is only going to have four sets of um, bands down it whereas mummy had five and daddy bear had six. Um, daddy bear had 12 columns, mummy bear had 10 and baby bear is going to have eight. So we do two of the brown and then we do two of the blue
and we're going to put an end cap on the end of each column like so single band wrapped around your hook twice and we're going to do a crossover band and that's going to be a single band that you stretch across so I'm going to do one blue and then I'm going to do the other two brown we're ready to loop up to dig down past the end cap and loop up now you're going to push that crossover band back with the back of your hook so you're just exposing the two bottom bands and we're only going to loop up the two first columns like that let's grab a holding hook and take column number one off the loom turn our loom around and move some sets of base plates around I'm going to do the big one and I'm going to move it forward and then I'm going to take this column of pegs over to position four and I'm going to keep it in line with the others so this is four let's lay our bands remember two brown two blue two blue an end cap in blue and pull the crossover bands over and loop up now what I thought we might do as well for uh, the fourth column is take a single white band and if we place it here on this brown one now we'd have to lift the uh, the crossover band up when we're ready to actually use it but we'll get to that bit I just want to put it there for the second okay so we're ready to take column two off and move our base plates and then move the column of pegs over to become column number five end cap now we're going to use new crossover bands so take a single band in blue in brown and we're going to do another one there but we're ready to loop this this one up so I'm going to just move this one over to here for a second because what I need to do is dig down grab that bottom two pair of bands and loop up and loop up and I'm going to loop this brown pair up here now I'm going to dig down past the bottom brown grab the white says she <laughs> come on and twist my hook around and bring it forward that's the crossover bank can go back there sorry didn't mean to do that and bring that forward like that now with this crossover band lift up these two brown put the crossover band on like that and then we need our new crossover band goes over here like that now this one has just come off that's interesting let's put that one back on all right okay now we'll loop this up here we're going to take this off our loom oops move our base plate forward and take the next column of pegs off and it becomes number six if you forget count here one two three four five and six so start with your brown bands and then two blue One 
one and two. Drag across and loop up this middle column. And then we take this one off the loom. Move our base plates so that we can do column seven. The column of pegs. And lay our bands. Don't forget your end cap and to pull your crossover bands over. Then you can loop up this middle one. If you're worried that that one's come back, I'll just put it there, but it's not going to go anywhere. Let's take this off the loom and our last column is eight. So move your base plate across, move your column of pegs across, Oops, let's get it the right height, <laughs> and let's do two bands of brown two bands of blue and an end cap drag across and we loop up now we can actually loop up both of these because this is our last one this off our loom and we're going to take two brown bands and slide these on if it doesn't rip my finger off Now be careful because there's only supposed to be two bands on there and I saw a straggler. So grab that one. We're going to put this around his neck like so. Reclaim the end of your bands one over the other. So here we go, here he is. Looks like he's in a dress. <laughs> Take two brown bands. I can be one or two if I'm just going to use two because it's little. Place those on the end of your hook. Then my this brown band doesn't want to be very playful at all. Slide over and we tie off in a loop knot like that and this is what we're going to use to suture to sew up this little ball here like that 
Now the other thing we're going to do is find a spot for his arms to come through. So if this is the middle one here, I'm going to put an arm out here. Grab the end cap to pull it through. You can sort of splay out the arm a little bit as well. Or the the um the ball. So we've got one, two, we'll put him here. Grab the crossover band and pull through. I'm going to grab all of these end caps. So they're the blue, three blue loops at the end of each of these columns. I'm going to use a blue, I'll use a brown band, two brown bands, because we want to do his tail. His tail will be brown. Slide these all on. Leave his legs out, but reclaim the end of those bands. Pull one closest to you, up, over. Now let's get two wrap once, wow I didn't do that very well, <laughs> wrap once and twice, slide on to two and slide this on with it like that and then reclaim the end of that like so and this as we let go of that we pop it through the center there we will drag that back through and splay this out to go over the tail like that. Now we want his legs to come out and I'm going to pick a spot, one here, grab the end caps and splay that out a bit so I can fit a leg through and then one on the other side about there do the same pull the leg through like so now we can stitch this up with our excess band here. The other thing that we can do is um, take blue, we'll do that at the end. Let's, let's stitch him up. I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> From the inside to the outside. And I do usually do this with one, and this time I've done two, but it won't matter. Pull through from the inside to the outside. Pull through inside to outside. Pull through. inside to the outside pull through and pull these tight so that you can't see the brown bleeding through the uh, the blue bands got one more to do here from the inside to the outside see how if I pull it tight it disappears and then we will just put that over the tail now because there's excess, I'm going to loop it like that. I might try one more loop to make it a little tighter. There we go. So there's his little tail. He's stitched up at the back. Here he is.
Now, what you can do is take a single band, put it under one leg and across to the corresponding shoulder, like that, and then the same on the other side, over one shoulder and under his leg, and then that sort of looks like he's wearing braces or like a baby grow or something like that. But uh, pull his eye out. And there we have Baby Bear. Hope you enjoy making him. Take care. Bye bye.